What's up, goodies? Welcome back to your girl channel and to my kitchen. I to cook and honey, today I decided I'm going to make you my famous stuffed bell pepper and juicy shrimp recipe. Fast, easy, and simple. So be sure you subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you won't miss an upload. And for all of my returning goodies, on an awesome love and right, let's cook. In my eyes, I'm a Okay, goodies, let's cook. Now we have our bell peppers here, and I'm using eight red bell pepper. Now, for the recipe, you could either cut them going down or cut them going across. But I chose to cut these going across on top because what I'm attempting to do here is to have them like a cover as you will see in as I go along with the recipe but you want to go ahead and cut them across take out the seeds for sure you're not going to throw the top part out because it is going to be like a cover for your bell pepper right so don't throw them out you're definitely going to be needing those now I chose to use a red bell pepper for the recipe but of course you could always switch it up and go with red orange green or yellow bell pepper whatever it is that you so choose just go ahead and make a kitchen happy right Now, while you are doing this, you want to, in fact, be sure that you have your water going because you want to be sure to pop these in your pot when the water is nice and hot, okay? So be sure that you have your water going while you're prepping your bell pepper. Now, after you have done doing all of that and your pepper is all nice and clean and you have your cover all waiting, we are not throwing those out. We are going to be using those. In your pot, you want to go ahead and add some salt to it. You definitely want to start off with giving that water some kind of a flavor. So I had it about less than a teaspoon of salt and then added the bell peppers in. Now, when you add them in, turn them up. You don't want to turn them down. Make sure they're facing up just like that. You're only going to cook it for about five to seven minutes. Now, do not cook the top part, though. Leave that. You want that to still have a crisp to it when you move on with your recipe. Now, I have some uncooked shrimp here, and we are going to make sure that they are nice and clean. If you don't have the uncooked shrimp, you of course, you could use cooked shrimp, but you definitely, I would definitely prefer if you use uncooked. You are going to remove about eight of those. I probably have like 12 or so shrimp, but remove the most of them. Whatever you decide to use, remove remove the most of them and just leave a few back what you're going to do is go ahead and cut them into very smaller tinier pieces just like I'm doing here the smaller pieces it will be better for this recipe and good if you're still watching me cooking be sure that you have checked your notification if you are my returning goodie and you're not receiving my uploads they might be off so check them and turn them on all right so when you're done you sit to the side now your bell pepper doesn't need to be all cooked out five to seven minutes of cooking time that's all you need you take them out turn them down dry them off then go ahead and add some oil and I'm using sunflower seed oil here use whatever it is that you have in your kitchen you want to give it a nice little spin around in that oil so that it's nicely covered now moving right along in my frying pan I went ahead and added some oil to it and a little bit of that minced garlic gave it a nice spin and then added the chopped onions to the mix spin that around as well with my fire here at a medium heat I always cook at medium heat right then to that I added some mixed veggies and the only thing that's in that veggie is carrot and beans then I added some fresh parsley to the mix if you don't have the fresh parsley it is okay to use dry combine that nicely and then you had your chopped shrimp to it 
Now, if you like crab meat, you can also add crab meat to it as well. Season it up with a little bit of salt and black pepper. I love my combo seasoning. You already know that. So I'm going to add that to the mix. You can substitute that for seafood seasoning or any other all-purpose seasoning that you might have laying around in your kitchen. But that is all it takes right here. Let it cook for about 10 minutes. Now, moving right along, the shrimp that you didn't use earlier, let's go ahead and add some black pepper and salt to it. I did add a little bit of paprika, and that's all I did here, and just mix that well. You don't need to season, over season this thing anymore. That is what it will look like with that step. All right, now, now we're moving right along. In a container, I added about a cup of cooked rice. Do not use uncooked rice. Then go ahead and mix all that in with the rice. I did use some mozzarella cheese and some sharp cheddar cheese and combine well and mix all together. Now after that was done, it was time to stuff my peppers and I'm going to show you two ways that I did create this particular stuffed bell pepper recipe, right? So now you want to be sure that when you're putting your bell, your, your mixture into your bell peppers, you really want to sink it in so that it is filled, right? Let's make sure that you do that. So stuff it all in there. Let's stuff it all in there. Don't leave no cracks or no space. Then the shrimp, I did turn this one going across like that down into the pepper. And then I added some of that mozzarella cheese on top like that and then covered it with up with the remaining remember I tell you don't throw that cover out that's just cover it up it's like a cover pot cover if that makes any sense so that's what you want to do now we're going to do the next one what we're doing here is a little bit different. You're going to go ahead and you're definitely going to stuff it with your filling. Just like so. Let's go ahead and stuff it all up in there. And don't forget, you can always use different bell pepper, whatever you have. Then I went ahead and put some of that mozzarella cheese in. And this time I turned my shrimp on the inside out. So tail in and body head out. Right, just cut it right in there and then stuff it to hold it in with some more of the rice filling and just stuff it all in there so that it doesn't move as much as you could get it in, just stuff it all up in there, just like that. Easy, and add a little bit more of that mozzarella cheese or any cheese of your liking and cover it nicely with the lid and place it into your baking container. Now be sure that your oven is preheated. Your oven needs to be at 350 degrees and these are going to take about 30 minutes to bake. Now before you pop them in, you go ahead and sprinkle some more cheese on there, some more fresh parsley, dried parsley if that's all you have and just go pop it in your oven. That's how fast, easy and simple this recipe is. Okay, when you are done, honey, that is what you will have after about 30 minutes of baking at 350 degrees. Honey, you are done, okay? Very fast, easy, and simple to follow. Look at that outer layered skin. That is beautiful. The cheese is all melted into the parsley. This recipe is something else. OMG. Now, when you're ready to serve, of course, you're going to take a peek, right? Because you know I'm going to go any further without showing you guys what it looks like on the inside. When you open that thing up, your cheese is all melted on your rice filling, honey. When you lift it all up, it is unbelievably delicious. Okay, you're going to love this recipe. Be sure to give it a try. Share it with all your friends and family. Tell them what's going on over here. Bring them, come and send them, come. I am waiting. After you get done doing all of that, tell me what you like to have me cooking next in my kitchen. And remember as always, from my kitchen to your kitchen, enjoy! Enjoy!